Good morning, dear friends. Here we are. New day, new beginning. And a renewed opportunity to start anew. You and I are always going from A to B, points of life, rushing. But is that the way we should live? Carlos Torres Pastorino, the author of the book Minutes of Wisdom in chapter 279, is going to remind us, seek to live more your inner life. The agitation of life must not reach your true self, our soul. <clears throat> We can't forget the most important thing. The divine seed is what our real being are. Our body is only the reflex of our soul, the reflection. Therefore, seek to live more intensively your inner life the life of your true self, your soul. Who are we? Am I Vanessa only? No, I'm much more than that. And that doesn't mean schizophrenia, split of personality. I am a, an immortal spirit like you are. We are immortal beings and we are working towards this wonderful opportunity to unfold this divine being. But how do we do it? For example, if you are married, you are the spouse of somebody, right? Does that define you? Because if it does, it's a problem. We need to have relationships not allowing them to define us, but to boost the best in us. No, I'm not the wife of somebody. I'm more than that. I am a spirit living on earth, temporarily married to this person, and evolving together. I know many people who limit themselves because of their families. And that's a disaster. Because of their nationality. Because of their culture. Oh, in my culture, everybody eats potato. So then I have to eat potato. Why? Is it good for your body? Because in previous reincarnations, we were elsewhere, probably eating rice. That doesn't define us. This doesn't define us. What does define us? Who we want to be? Who do we want to be? Children of God? God defines us. Only God. Nothing else. But we need to have a true relationship with God. So today... We're going to do that inner journey to identify in us that inner life. The one in which when the body stays here, we continue being who we are. You know how many discarnate spirits are distraught when they discarnate because they feel like, oh, I lost everything. You think you lost a loved one? Those who discarnate feel they lost everything. I lost my family. I lost my things. I lost my body. No, nobody loses anything. By the way, in that inner life, how do we deal with the certainty of impermanence? Nothing lasts forever. Are we ready to change? And then this morning, I saw a quote from Albert Einstein. He says the following, and I quote, 
The measure of intelligence is the ability to change. How good are we before changes? The measure of intelligence is the ability to change. But usually, we don't like changes, right? We resist. We're scared. Let us embrace changes, knowing that changes, renewal, is the constant invitation of the universe. If I attach myself to name, family, things, personality, I am doomed to depression, to anxiety, to 10,000 mental imbalances. So you and I today are invited to this inner life, to cherishing the ability to change always in God, to God, for God, with God. Dear God, we constantly hear from people, why do you do this? Who are you to do that? And why do we give in? Allowing ourselves to be encapsulated in people's definitions. If people barely understand, like we also don't understand it, we don't understand the whole nine yards of your plan, but we know it's all about progress. We know your plan is all about the good. We know your plan is all about love. So today, we want to feel your loving care. We want to feel your kindness, your embrace, always. Dear Mother, Father, God, we rejoice in your presence, magnanimous and kind. And we visualize your loving care enveloping us always. Our family members, friends, neighbors, colleagues at work, patients, we visualize your love enveloping everyone who needs clarity, strength, and a shoulder to lean on. We pray that you find our open hearts to fulfill your loving will today and forever. Thank you, God. And so be it. What a gift for us. Yes, it is a gift to be reminded of our true nature. If people tell you, why do you do this? But who are you? Excuse me. Look at Ben Franklin. Huh? He was an inventor. He was a journalist. He was a diplomat. He was 10,000 things. The same for Thomas Jefferson. Not even talking about Jesus. Look at Chico Xavier, the medium. He psychographed books of all different styles and types of literature. He didn't allow himself to be defined by people who didn't know better. So, write it down. You're a child of God. Cherish it. It's a limitless essence inside of us allow yourself to bloom and if people don't get it it's their problem with god not yours you and i need to keep going and everything else will unfold let's pray for everyone and count on our today to make a better tomorrow thank you friends we wish you a beautiful day and night in god's love thank you daisy thank you lou thank you john thank you slavic 
Thank you, dear Anne Siqueira. We wish you all live and on demand a beautiful day and night in God's love. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow at another morning prayer here at Kardec Radio, where you and I are always nourishing our souls. By the way, stay tuned tonight. There is another chapter in our inner journey with Paul and Stephen.